July garden tour and gardening tips. Hello, welcome to Seven Savings Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. Hello, welcome to our gardening channel. Um, welcome to our vlog and garden tour today. We're going to um, tour of a garden and uh, show you what's going on in the garden and also give you some tips and uh, tricks. You can also support our channel by getting our merch. I love this time of the year where you can come to the garden and get fruits like these and just be eating. Hello everybody, welcome to Summer Savings Garden. Today we're gonna do a quick um, garden tour, show you what's going on in the garden, what's going on in the garden. Okay, let's go. So over here, we have, we're growing pecan over here, we have our leaf um, onions over here, we have some spices over there. So, so far everything is going okay, it's going good. Uh, we had some snails or uh, some slugs um, eating um, eating the leaves, but uh, we've taken care of it. It's, uh, it's drastically reduced to what it was. You can see the fresh leaves are coming out and not being eaten by uh, this, uh, the slugs, but uh, it's an ongoing battle that we have to face. I have a, a video that shows you a couple of things that um, you can do to combat them. Um, I'll see if we can put the link to that in the description. Here we are growing our pumpkins over here, butternut squash in, in our bags right here. And also growing our tomatoes in this uh, bags over here. So over here we have tomatoes, cherry tomatoes that are growing over here. You know what? Let me let me eat one. Even though it's not completely ripe, but even though it's not completely ripe, but Love cherry tomatoes. Tastes good too. Let me grab another one. Tastes really, really good. So over here, we also have some fruits. You can see blueberries. Blueberries are ready. Even though uh, a lot of them didn't uh, didn't come out, it didn't produce a lot, but the few that came out, not bad, not bad at all. Over here we have more pumpkin, and uh, the rest are become over here, and they're all. Coming along, we harvested them already once, so uh, I'll say within another week or two, we can we should be able to harvest more from here. Let's go to the other side of the garden. Here we have our the grapes. The grapes are coming along okay. Um, started producing, but they are coming along okay. Uh, we also have some raspberries over here that are coming okay. Um, over here we have okra, we have um, cucumbers, we have garden egg. See the garden egg is, is coming along great. And you can see this one is almost ready to be harvested. Um, if we need it, we need it. We can harvest it anytime. Uh, we also have some uh, tomatoes coming along, and chia is also coming along great over here. I can't wait to start harvesting uh, garden eggs. You can see we have some garden eggs. Uh, they're doing great. They're coming along great. I see some cucumber that's ready over here. It's underneath. Yeah, this one is a big one. Right there. Awesome. Wow. Look at how big it is. 
Over here we have our onions in containers. You're doing okay. We have our tomatoes over here in containers. These ones are doing okay. They're doing good. As you can see, coming along. And we have our potatoes over here. And we also have these potatoes that we're growing in the in a box right here. If you watch the video that I showed you how you can grow potato in the box like this. So the potatoes are coming along. Here we have our butternut squash we're growing in a five gallon bucket. It's also coming along. We have some uh, some bugs trying to eat this. I spray this with uh, neem oil so um, hopefully that should take care of it. Over here we have more cucumbers doing well. The cabbage, we have some cabbage worms um, eating it. I sprayed it with neem oil, so and I think it um, eliminated some of them, but I don't think all of them are gone, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Tomatoes are also doing great over here. See the tomatoes. Um, here we have the cabbage. Cabbage is doing well. We have hockey berries right there. We have uh, the kang and hockey berries on this bed. Over here we have more um, cabbage. Hockey berries and the can. And here is our fabric, fabric raised bed. It's doing great. Um, we already have a stud here, I think twice already. So you can see how nice and fresh they are. Uh, one tip with the fabric raised bed, um, they dry a little bit faster than the soil and other areas, but you just have to keep an eye on it. As long as you water it every day, it should be fine. Um, the soil that I put in there was rich compost with a lot of organic material, so that helped it. Uh, it's maintaining that. And I also put some um, leaves. I also put some leaves uh, on top just to at least um, reduce the evaporation and maintain the moisture in the soil. So they're doing okay. Um, we have the cabbage over here. Cabbage is also doing well. Uh, I think within a couple of weeks, we should be able to, to harvest the cabbage. The cabbage is just occupying, you see, just spreading and uh, trying to get a lot, yeah, a lot of space. So over here, the tomatoes are okay. Um, they're coming along. Um, tomatoes are doing okay. Um, they are a little bit slow in terms of uh, growth and production because those are the ones that had the frostbite at the beginning of the season. But this one that I planted uh, after the frostbite, you can see how it's done. These two right here. You see how they, how they have done compared to the ones that had the frostbite. It took a little bit, a little bit of time for them to come up. So, but they are coming along. They are doing okay. Um, so, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we should be able to start harvesting tomatoes from um, this, our um, spot right here. Uh, over here, we have uh, kale right there. We have cabbage. We have tomatoes on the other side. We also have a little bit of water leaf. Um, the water leaf is, is slow this year, uh, probably because of the temperature and, and other stuff. Uh, slow to, for us to get uh, water leaf going outside. So over here on the side of the house, we have um, the kang and water leaf in containers. We have our carrots right here. 
Over here we have our peppers. Uh, these are bell peppers. Peppers are doing okay. The peppers that I'm growing in five gallon containers outside. Um, the last time I, I grew peppers, I grew them in the greenhouse. Uh, they did good. The ones in the greenhouse are much better than these ones outside. So uh, probably because of the weather uh, conditions outside. So uh, they're, not, they're coming along. We have garden egg over here. We have corn. You can see there's a lot of corn. Um, doing well this year. Hopefully the chipmunks and the uh, and the squirrels don't um, attack it this year as last year. So we're gonna have to come up with ways to uh, mitigate that. So on this side of the um, garden, we have corn. We have um, uh, green. African spinach, we have tomatoes, uh, we have cucumbers, we have uh, anchia, so we have quite a few different things, garden egg, so we have quite a few th different things on this side of the garden, and over here on this raised bed, on the other side of the tomatoes, we have um, bacon, going over here. So um, the, I use, as you can see, I use a lot of leaves to try to at least improve the uh, moisture of the soil and prevent um, the soil from drying up or the raised bed from drying up very fast. You can see the, the worms are breaking it down. You can see how good it is, the worms. There's a lot of worms on this bed. They are breaking it down and it provides a lot of nutrients to... Um, the plants on this bed and uh, we have similar things in the garden too. So over here we have, um, um, this is our anchia and uh, cabbage bed and some corn also. So we have anchia, you can see the anchia is doing great. Corn, anchia, cabbage. So the bed is doing okay. I also use, I just, uh, some other stuff that I'm doing right now is also using uh, some leaves. Chop some leaves up just to cover it. It helps with moisture and it also prevents uh, weeds from coming out. There's a lot of weeds coming out already. So I'm trying to, um, that's what we're trying to do. Just cover it up a little bit so that way the weeds, uh, reduce the amount of weeds that come out that we have to deal with. And also um, at least maintain the moisture of the soil and uh, gives the opportunity for the plant to do better. The various plants that we have in here to do better. So over here on this side, we have corn and uh, and uh, huckleberry. So most of this side right here, I have corn and huckleberry and a few pumpkins. So one other thing I'm doing in the garden or we're doing in the garden is just to um, put some more compost, uh, added some compost to the beds or to underneath the uh, various plants, like you see here, uh, corn, especially tomatoes and other stuff on this side of the garden. Uh, we didn't put a lot of compost when we were, um, when we were planting. So we, right now we're just putting a lot of compost in there to at least provide more nutrients. Um, here we have huckleberries. You can see the huckleberries are doing well over here. Um, this two beds down here, we have mostly huckleberries on these beds over here. Uh, let me just get closer. So you can see the huckleberries finally came out. Even though we transplanted some of them to other beds, there's still quite a few that are still coming out. Uh, but uh, they're doing great. Over here we have... Um, we still have corn and uh, garden egg, but uh, we have mostly uh, uh, bacon on this bed over here and some uh, kale. Um, as you see, I, we use grass clippings. When you mow the lawn, you can use grass clippings like this. Uh, one important thing is to make sure that the grass doesn't have a lot of seeds. If they have a lot of seeds, then you're going you're gonna to have those seeds germinate on the bed. But I make sure that I... They don't have a lot of seeds then i just use the grass clippings to prevent weeds and also uh, maintain the moisture of the soil 
as you can see when they dry up they look like that so you're gonna get uh, in some cases you're gonna get a couple of weeds you're gonna get some weeds and stuff like that but it's not gonna be as bad as without the um, the grass clipping or the uh, um, or the leaves mulching so here we have our kale kale is doing well we already harvested twice already so they're coming along great over here you can see the um, this this is what we covered it uh, these ones we covered it about two weeks ago with grass clippings and you can see not a lot of weeds coming out and uh, we also harvested the batang from these beds so they are doing great over here on this bed we have uh, pumpkins and hockeyberries and some corn and beans and green beans um, if you like the video, please smash the like button. Uh, so far, if you like the video, please smash the like button. It helps the channel out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. And uh, if you like the video, uh, share the video. Um, it helps also helps the channel out. If you li like the video, somebody else uh, you know might like the video, please share the video. Thank you so much. So over here, we have mostly hockeyberries in the back over here. Um, in this last bed, we have um, a pumpkin, um, potatoes, and these potatoes, like I said before, these potatoes are potatoes that we uh, we accidentally uh, left it or forgot it in the uh, bed. We didn't harvest all of it, and they just came out this year. So we just said we're just gonna let it grow, and uh, it's growing, it's coming along. Uh, we have some raspberries in the back over there. We have strawberries in the containers over here on the right. Uh, we also have some corn um over here um pumpkin we just added some pumpkins to this uh bed over here and we have our pumpkin uh little pumpkin patch over here and we want the pumpkins to grow and climb on this uh this fixture right here so we just added some compost i just we just added some compost to this pumpkin over here just to provide it more nutrients and uh, they are doing great even though there are a lot of them in one spot but we want them to climb on this little fixture we have over here. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to get a lot of pumpkins from this our pumpkin uh, patch and uh, be able to get some stuff. So we have our strawberries in containers over here. And then we have more potatoes and some uh, other uh, hockey berries over here. So that is it for this side, the main side of the garden. Um, so far, the garden over here is doing great. It's looking good. So let's go over to uh, the side of the house where we have some uh, where we have some more uh, garden stuff. Uh, so we have on the side of the house over here we have uh, mostly uh, bekang over here, and the bekang are doing great. Uh, we have a few hockeyberries in the in, mixed in, but. Uh, we have our tomatoes over here. It's also doing great, and, uh, and the the garden, the bed is doing is doing okay. Like I said, we had uh, some slugs issues, but I think the slug issues are all set now. Um, we use some slug bait and some wine to get rid of it. So here is our thirty gallon container where we're going and chair. We had just harvested and chair a couple of days ago. So uh, this is our strawberry tower. Um, it produced at the beginning of the season in spring. It hasn't produced yet, so hopefully we'll get some um, strawberries later on in the fall. Uh, here is our um, Bekang container. Here are more strawberries in containers over here. And uh, we have our um, Bekang uh, raised bed over here. And our Bekang in these containers over here. So you can see the garden is doing great. Um, let me know in the comments below if you, um, if, how your garden is doing. Um, if you've harvested some stuff from the garden already. So we harvested kale quite a, f a few number of times already. So let me know if you harvested quite a few things in your garden already and how your garden is doing. Uh, and also where you are um, in terms of your growing, where you are, your location. So that way I know where you are and where um, various people are. Uh, are growing their stuff thank you so much for watching i hope you like the video if you like the video please smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share thanks for watching happy growing everybody